Welcome to my short review of the HTC One M9, which means that we will compare it a, a little bit with a few other phones, go through um, almost all the software features that are maybe new on the M9, thanks to Lollipop and Sense 7, and we will also take a closer look at the hardware itself, which you can see I have the black one in my hands, and right here there's also a gold one, which is also looking quite beautiful, um, if you especially look at it from the side, because we have a dual tone um, color um, yeah, design now by HTC, starting with the M9. Which means here from the side it's a lot darker, for example, here um, on this black one, so it looks really like a, a black smartphone, but on the back it will be a rather um, a silver one. And yeah, you can see I have a little bit of sweaty fingers, but you can just um, swipe that away. So you can see also we have here the Sapphire, uh, Sapphire uh, glass protected 20 megapixel sensor. That's quite amazing that we finally have now uh, this high resolution camera in an HTC phone. So that's definitely a, a pro. Um, then also here, of course, a dual tone uh, flash is also uh, perfect for any light situation and also a microphone for conference calls is not that new. We still have a micro SD card slot so you can expand your um, HTC One M9 with um, two gi 200 gigs of uh, micro SD right now because that was just announced by uh, Sandis and on the other side we have of course our nano SIM card slot this is a single SIM device so only one SIM card will go inside here we have also volume rocker here and an on off switch and now that's also quite a, a great new, uh, new thing here that we can definitely easily um, turn it on and off here on the side by just pressing that button you don't have to um, press a button on top anymore where we only have the infrared left um, that we had in the first two um, HECs also. Now on the bottom of course my USB which you can see is protected right now so nobody takes this smartphone away. Here at the HTC stand and also we have here the microphone um, or the headset jack here at the HTC One M9 to just listen to music but actually listening to music is also possible still with the boom sound speakers which are still great. They didn't change much I guess except for it looks a little bit shorter than on the um, M8 so we have also the M8 here and you can see in terms of size or um, design they look quite similar but actually here at the um, boom sound speaker it got a little bit shorter on top which is quite interesting and also the the um, sensor got a little bit smaller but also the camera is smaller on the M9 uh, or the M8 because here now we have a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera for really amazing selfie possibilities but still no um, flash on the front which is quite interesting since actually HTC has a device that has a 30 megapixel camera on the front with flashlight so we expect a little bit of that and also a smaller boom sound speaker so there is not so much space here on the bottom and top wasted because that makes the 5 inch phone quite big for example compared to an Apple iPhone um, 6 which is also a big phone thanks to all the bezels around the display um, with a 4.7 inch screen this uh, HTC One M9 is actually uh, a wee bit bigger a half a centimeter maybe a larger to the top but you can also just put them on top of each other and you can see here the, ex uh, the, the perfect difference here on top also in thickness the HTC is really is still a quite a thick phone because you have a big battery inside and a metal complete metal chassis which you will see on the back again um, here is making the phone not that slim but we don't have wireless charging still built in but compared to the Apple iPhone with only six point something millimeter six point four I think then this one with nine point um, six one millimeters is all, almost thirty percent thicker you can especially see that if we put them on top of each other like this here in the middle it's definitely a thick phone, the HTC One M9. But it's alright because it has a lot more features than the iPhone, for example. The infrared is missing in the iPhone, and the boom sound is missing in the iPhone, and also the cameras here with 20 megapixel and 4 megapixel are on both sides double, more than double actually, even on the back, than on the iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus. Compared to also the last generation, it's a lot better hardware-wise because we have now a Snapdragon 810 processor inside, which makes the phone a few times maybe a little bit warm if you will use it for a lot of gaming, like we will do in a second with Temple Run. Maybe Temple Run is not the game that will make the phone overheat, but of course now it's all day here and the, the, the strong light and it's um, on power all day, so that's why the battery might be warm right now. And actually what's also quite awesome is you can't really feel the HTC logo on the back, but you can definitely see that it's not going away here because I have not only printed I think. Then again here as I said you have on the back your sapphire glass um, the protection on your lens which means you can um, do anything with it and it definitely won't scratch except for if you use a diamond or you have a diamond ring because that's the only material that should be actually stronger than sapphire. Internally you have only one option 32 gigs of internal memory um, of which about 27 are available or 28 depending on um, what 
um, and Google is doing with their Android in the future and also 3 gigs of RAM which is also quite amazing because actually you only have a full HD screen on 5 inches which means it's not the highest resolution display on this size but you don't really need it um, because the battery would be last, not lasting that long if you would have an even higher resolution like for example Samsung or LG does so um, actually a HTC uh, has only a 2840 milliamp battery here inside which is therefore enough Samsung only has 2600 for example for a smallest uh, for a bigger screen so definitely the Samsung Galaxy S6 will have a shorter runtime but of course it always depends on what you will do if you have a 3G uh, connection 4G connection uh, only Wi-Fi or whatever you will have turned on like for example so Bluetooth health tracking and so on otherwise GPS GLONASS uh, Wi-Fi ABC uh, BGNAC um, and all the other connections like Bluetooth 4.1 and so on of course installed uh, I also already mentioned the LTE and the Qualcomm processor is actually the fastest and even 64-bit processor out there right now by the company and Qualcomm is known for building really quick phones but what's as I said also quite new is Sense 7 this is the first phone by HTC that has the latest software um, installed and HTC was one of the first companies to actually start building their own software on top of Android because they were also the first ones to produce Android phones for Google actually but uh, back then they didn't have their own name there so they produced the first Android phone actually in the world and then after with HTC Sense now they have the seventh version which means you can see um, it didn't much change actually from the HTC Sense 6 so this looks, for example, the same. If you go here, just into the apps, you can have to st st still scroll up and down. You have still the possibilities of folders here. And you can also just have your custom alphabetical or most recent arrangement. You can search, go to Google Play Store right away, or rearrange, hide, unhide, manage, and grid size the apps, which, as I said, is actually the exact same thing you were able to do before. Here, it looks again the same as with HTC One M8. But you have now still, again also have here the possibility to change from grid view to card view, which would give you the standard lollipop view. And you can definitely see that there's a lot of apps running right now, and it's still um, really quite fast here to do anything with it. Uh, but I can close just easily something like this or to the left, and then it's closed. And you can also Google search it right away or say OK Google, and it will start searching here right away. So let me turn that back to grid view. There we have the multiple pages of apps here running um, in a different look then if you go to running apps of course you have still have the possibility to just see what's running in the background and you were able to see that i have enter to installed actually here under downloads you can see it enter to benchmark where we can actually show you guys that it got 54,069 points, which is a lot more than, for example, in Note 4, which only had the Snapdragon 801 back then, but 55,000 is around normal for a um, Snapdragon and 810. See here the exact number. And you can see here also some information, like again, the camera size, RAM size, and everything I just told you right now. Let's go out here again and maybe try a little bit of gaming, then afterwards we do a little bit of camera and comparison and then we're almost finished here with our first hands-on, yeah, not first hands-on, it's a short test or short review because I couldn't try the camera in low lights yet, for example, which I'm eager to try and also the speakers have to be tried and compared with Sony and other companies that have dual speakers now or just with their old HTC One M8, I also have to compare it, so let's just run here a little bit away from that monkey or gorilla or whatever that is something in a giant size of course it's not that thrilling because it's a game that runs on almost every device but here it's of course one of the most casual games out there most downloaded so people will just download it and try it I'm not playing it of course for too long for you guys but you're able to see that thanks to the three gigs of ram the the loading time on the bidding wasn't too long there is a lot of nice details and textures um, here built in and i will just jump over the fire here and then we are already finished so i can just hit pause go to google now for example right away and actually here's one thing again that i don't like about the htc1 m8 that i hated about the htc1 m9 now also is that you don't have the back and the home button or the, this recent button here why don't they put it right here you would have more space on the screen like you had for example with the m7 so this was the m7 they did it the exact right way hc you should bring that back for the m10 for example we will see so let's go out here again and then we can just show you a little bit of browsing or stuff that you would for example do still again standard 
HTC keyboard here. And actually can this year also buy again a dot view cover like this. The old one will probably not fit anymore, I'm not sure actually, but I guess not. Um, but thanks to the same size and same format, it should look a little bit different. Um, it should fit maybe except for the camera hole in the back, which is now a square, not a hole. So what's also new is themes. So you can now install themes here quite easily just by picking one. And you can also download a few, like for example Nimbus. You can say download, it's free. And then it starts downloading, while well, Wi-Fi is really bad right now, so this could take a while. But what's also interesting is you can just take a photo and then create your own theme, I think. So you can just hit a plus. Then you can create your theme. If you have to choose your home image, you can say you want to shoot a picture. Let's shoot a picture of this iPhone, let's say yes. Let's say done. Then next, and then it's checking the colors in that, in there, so it's giving you advice. Okay, you can choose here this gold and black combination. This is how it would look like here with all the apps and icons. Or you can say, okay, maybe you want round buttons and the same color combination here. Or maybe you want this strange shape here around your icons. Or you want maybe everything more a little bit black some other black or you want maybe a lot of colors and that brown color or you want to just green and that's it and you can also say still edit and you can say you want a certain set of icons as you can see there's quite a few but you can also say you can download some more and you can also change the texture that the background should have um, here from your library or you can also say view more and you can also say preview and then you see the icons have a little bit different back texture here and yeah you can also change here again all kinds of things which is quite amazing how much you can now differentiate your phone from other phones and not just use the same um, buttons and layers everybody does so that's a themes quite an interesting feature and not to be underestimated here with the HTC One M9 because nobody else has it. Now this is also totally different here via GPS. If you allow it to track you, it uh, you can help you to arrange your apps for certain spaces where you are. So you can say if you are at work, if you are at home, if you are out somewhere, and um, you want to have certain amount of apps. It doesn't even have to be eight or it doesn't have to be in folders. You can also say I want this um, to be um, also bigger, uh, for example, or on a whole page. Here this application, which is also quite handy. So via GPS, it can also always rearrange your apps from home apps that where you would read more, for example, or play more to working apps for like Office or something like that if you're at work. Or if you would work out, for example, fitness studio, you can also say you want your fitness apps right there when you're going to the fitness studio. So those are the main differences here from the last version and there's also of course a few things that are pre-installed like for example FunFit, Pro, um, Power to Give and Peel Smart Remote. These are not that interesting if you ask me. You have still the possibility to use your dot view cover. Boom sound is now not um, Beats anymore but it wasn't with the 8, uh, M8 either and not what, now what we also do is compare it a little bit here with the, the golden colors so you guys can get a little bit of a, um, a feeling of what color you should buy. So you have here gold and black. Where we have especially on the side the gold but for example on the back it's more of a, a silver and black so here you have silver here you have black uh, other way around of course don't know why the flashlight is on i accidentally hit that so i'm sorry about that here we go so here have the back colors that are available right now from the top they look like that and from the left side again here with all the buttons this is what you would get when you buy this phone Again, compared to the Apple iPhone, it's of course a lot thicker. It's now a golden iPhone 6, not 6 Plus, so you can, as you can see it's here to the bottom also a little bit longer than HTC, but of course it has a 5-inch screen. Compared to the old one, that's actually not that interesting. It's about the same. The thickness is also about the same, but a little bit different materials. If you look at it on the back, it looks similar, but it does actually not. It feels different and is different 
And then also compared to an LG G3, for example, if you would buy that, we still have the same size, but here we have 5.5 inches high resolution display. But now the camera is actually um, here not as good as in the HTC One M8, as you will see in our comparison, which we have separately shot in our YouTube channel, so check that out um, definitely. But you can, for example, change your also battery. And actually here the battery is, as I said before, quite big with 2,860 milliamp for just five inches. But what I definitely can also recommend to you guys is the HTC Desire I. We have 30 megapixel front and back camera with dual flash. That's a new thing and here also completely waterproof uh, for half an hour. Um, if you don't go too deep, the HTC One M9 is still not waterproof, but it's really a cool phone, but it's plastic, so I'm not sure if that's for you. Again, definitely check out our review on that also. So what I haven't shown you here is really an important feature and it's a camera. I only have sh shown you the themes. The camera, as I said, 20 megapixels now, so I can just shoot a picture like this, open up that picture and zoom in here on the smallest little detail like the text back there. And you can see how nicely you can still read it thanks to the um, high resolution. Of course, on top, that's no problem at all. But if you make that picture small again, check it out. You would definitely not be able to read it just like that. Um, if you can zoom in. Now here the same thing, I picked, um, took a picture of my iPhone and look how beautifully the text in the background is and still the iPhone, how sh um, sharp. That's with the selfie cam, I will show you that in a second. And yeah, actually what I also like is when you take pictures just like I did here and um, that um, certain things are sharp and actually ev almost everything in the picture is sharp and it just looks like you would have taken this with a professional um, camera. So if you go back here to the camera, um, you can also choose selfie and panorama. The selfie, again, 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera where you can, um, for example, use uh, this tool on the top to, let's, for example, remove my wrinkles here from below my eyes just by scrolling this to the side. There is a lot less wrinkles, maybe you can see it, than when I just leave it right here and then yeah I just look older otherwise you can see the professional features like white balance and other things that you can choose from you can also shoot full HD videos on the front and for the first time 4k videos in the back thanks to the new Qualcomm processor but what's also interesting is you can also say you want to add more things like for example photo booth slit capture and bouquet um, these two were also available in the HTC One M8 you didn't have to download them, but they were available, and now you have also Bouquet, which uh, gives you a field of depth, which should have been actually here the refocus thing that um, the M8 tried to do, but of course now it's also possible with 20 megapixels and a lot of processing power uh, here with the um, HTC One M9. So, yeah, there's actually not much else to show you guys here in the brand new HTC um, One M9. As you can see, we have still have Blink feed that you can actually turn off. So you can say you want to change your home, your wallpaper home and you can also say you don't want to have here that anymore so you can for example also remove your blink feed you can add it again but if you don't want it you don't have to use it so thank you much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe my name is Balaj this was the HS1 M8 or M9 I'm sorry and uh, yeah we could say full review uh, and even fuller review with more um, videos and pictures with the camera and comparisons with other phones you can find in my YouTube channel so thank you much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe until next time please tune in again